Lawrence, Oregon, 1970. A dead sperm whale is beached along the shoreline, and local reporter Paul Lindman is on the scene. The Oregon State Highway Division not only had a stinking whale on its hands, it had a stinking whale of a problem. What to do with one 45-foot, 8-ton stinking whale head on arrival on the beach near Florence? As the corpse begins to decay, city officials and the highway department are forced to figure out a way to dispose of it. After thoughtful consideration, they reach a consensus. The logic? Create an explosion. The remaining pieces will then be carried off by seagulls and seagulls. Highway Department worker George Thornton thinks it's a brilliant idea. The only thing is we're not sure just exactly how much uh, explosives it'll take to disintegrate this thing so the scavengers, seagulls and seagulls and whatnot can clean it up. Workers rig the explosives on one side of the whale in hopes to blast it. Police create a safe zone around the area. Six, five, four, three, two, one. What the fuck? Some <laughs> whale rain across the beach. Then the pieces reach the crowd. Onlookers realize they're not so tiny. The pieces are not so tiny. Over a quarter mile away, a massive chunk of blubber has flattened the roof of a brand new Cadillac. Thankfully, Paul Lindman was inside at the time. Back on the beach, it's evident Ignition. that the half ton of dynamite had little effect. The majority of the whale is still intact, and the highway department is forced to go with plan B. Bury the carcass 